Hello kids. If you've made it this far on your first day of school, good job. You've accomplished quite a lot already. Just getting here to see this video means that you've been trying, you've been paying attention, and you've at least been exploring where to go. So this is your first word study lesson, and we in third grade are going to study so much about words. We're going to study letter sounds, letter combinations, word parts, word beginnings, word endings, word middles, letter combinations that don't seem like they could go together, but they do. Um, letters that when you combine them, they keep their sounds, and letters that when you combine them, they create whole new sounds. Uh, third grade is going to be a big year for you in terms of learning all about words. And we're going to kick off with um, how are you going to keep track of your learning? We're going to do uh, an organization of your composition book. The composition book looks similar to this. Um, you've seen them before. You open them up. They've got lots of lined pages. They're bound uh, by like a piece of tape. And um, this one isn't doesn't look exactly like the ones that you have in your in your blue bag, but it's similar, and I'm sure you've seen them before. Um, you're going to choose one of the two that were in your blue bag, and I'm going to help you get it organized. So in third grade, one of the things that we really focus on is figuring out how you organize yourself. Um, we're going to use the front half of the book that you chose for word study. So once you've chosen the book that you're the composition book that you're going to use, um, I want you to take a little time once you've seen this entire video, take a little time to create a title page. The title page to your video should say, or to, not to your video, to your to your book, to your composition book, should say what's inside of it. Just like the title of a book tells you about what's inside of the, of the book. So I've created a sample for you here. Uh, I like to get creative with the titles and uh, in my in my design because it's just a little bit fun and nobody can really tell you you're doing it wrong if you're just creating it. Um, you can find the words word study if uh, in the Schoology page or you can pause the video and look at this here. Uh, but the front page, the first page when you open your new book gets the title word study. And if you want to, to copy um, the words that I did here, you can, or if you want to decorate it with your own colors and your own designs, you can. But the bottom line is you're creating a title to a section of learning that you're going to be doing in, in third grade, and you want to know what's inside the book. Um, so after you do this, you're going to turn to the very next page, and we're going to do our first activity together. Um, so. When we're dealing with words, we are looking at the sounds that letters make. And English is pretty funny. The language, English language is pretty funny because the letters don't always make the sounds that you're taught that they're made early on in school. And that's okay. Um, but the more experience you get looking at, at words and knowing what those words are and saying those words when you see the letters, um, that that'll help you remember the different kinds of combinations that of letters that make up English words. Um, we're going to start today with a bit of a scavenger hunt. So it's going to be you taking your book around um, and finding things and naming things and listening to the very first sound that comes out of your mouth. And you're going to organize a list of the letters in the English language. And I'll give you a second right now to think about, hmm, what do we call the list of the letters in the English language? If you said alphabet, you're right. We're going to make an alphabetized list of the letters in the English language. I'm new to this here, uh, this kind of teaching, and I'm in my new house right now, and the light is very strange. Um, but you're going to make a in on the first two pages a list of the letters, and I'm not particular exactly about how you organize yourself as long as it's organized in an orderly way. 
Not everybody's minds work exactly the same. Uh, if you wanted to make your list of letters straight down the side, you can. If you wanted to make your list of letters evenly spaced between the two pages, or if you wanted to fit even three letters per line, you could do that. But if you notice how I made my beginning sounds list of letters here, I put two letters per line, then I skip down two lines and put the next two letters. So you see I've got A and then B, and then skip down two lines, C and D, and then so on until I'm all the way to Z. Uh, another thing that I'm kind of particular about is, I swear I'll get this right, um, is putting the date on the days when we do work in our notebooks. It's another form of organization for you to keep a record of what we do and when we do, so when we do it. So when we um, are talking about, hey, do you remember that lesson? Uh, I, th I think it was way back in August. August is the eighth month. Uh, and so here um, you can see that I... I put the date 817. That's the first day of school. It's Monday, August 17th. August is the eighth month, and we and the first day of school, Monday, is the 17th. Um, so that's another way to help you organize yourself. Notice that the heading beginning sounds is at the top and it's underlined. Um, that's another thing that we'll talk about as we go through the year is when we're when we are doing work in our notebooks we put a heading at the top of the page it tells us what we're doing and it tells us when you look back at your book uh, what we did and what you did on that page it's kind of like a, a, a category or a topic of what we did so this just kind of organizes your work for the day um, and now you must be asking what do you want me to do mr. AD well Here's what you do. You are going to walk around your house. You don't have to have your notebook with you if you don't want, um, uh, or if you wanna take a walk around the neighborhood, you can do that too. Wherever you find yourself walking, uh, name things. Name things with your mouth, pay attention to the sound that comes out and pair it with the letter that it goes with. You don't have to write down every single one that you do, but I would like for you to make a list of many of the words that you say. Um, and this can get pretty tricky because, like I said earlier, the, the words that, that you hear, the sounds that you hear, don't always match up with the letters the way that, that you're taught. Let me model for you a little bit what, what uh, I'd like for you to do. It's a little bit challenging because I'm in my, my new house and nothing is in this room with me. Uh, it, is, it is bare walls and bare floors. Uh, but there are some things that I can name. So I have a table in front of me, and uh, so right there I said a word, table. I'm listening for that first sound, t table. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and write the word table under the T's on my list here. Uh, and just to give you an idea of what it might look like to fill up your organized list. So I'm going to leave space for other words um, that might fit in the table or in the T category. I'm not going to write really huge. I'm going to try to write small. Another thing we'll study is lowercase and uppercase letters in, in third grade. And uh, I'll just go ahead and give it away for you. We use uppercase letters for a reason. Um, all other times, if you don't have a reason to write an uppercase letter, you should write lowercase letters. Uh, that's something we'll start practicing now. Um, so I'm going to just name a few more things and add them to my list and show you what it looks like. Um, I see a wall, so I'll put a w, w, wall, W, makes the w sound, wall. Uh, I see a window, uh, w, w, window, starts with a W sound also. Uh, I see a box. In fact, I see many boxes uh, because I just moved into this house on Friday. Um, so box, B-O-X, B-B-B-Box. And spelling is not going to be that important, but I do, at least at this point, uh, but I do want you to try your best to match up those beginning sounds with the letters. Uh, my dog is in the room with me. My mean dog Snoopy is, is here with me, uh, sleeping right now on the floor. Um, that's d, d dog D. Um, now I'm going to try to think of some words that I might come across or see that sound 
that have a specific sound, but they don't actually start with that letter. And since we're keeping track of sounds, I'm going to show you what happens when you come to words like that. So I know that the word no does not start with n, but I'm going to put the word no under n because we're tracking the first sounds of the words. We're not tracking the letters exactly, we're tracking the sounds. So if you come across a word that you know doesn't start with the letter that it belongs to in the sound list, that's okay, that's okay. Um, so the word no, if you didn't know, starts with a silent K. Um, and it's similar to the word knowledge, also starts with a silent K. One of our core values at CFI, our learner profile word knowledgeable, also starts with that silent K. But in every one of those examples, the first sound you hear is an N. So I'm, I'm putting the no in the N column, or in the N category. And another one that's kind of funny, uh, if you've ever heard uh, Mr. Leonard or another uh, health, health buff talk about physical fitness, the word physical actually starts with a PH, but the word fitness starts with an F. So you've got two words with the same beginning sound, but they do not have the same letters. English is crazy like that, but we're going to start paying attention. We're going to start thinking about why and how and trying to remember these patterns that we notice. I'm going to write down physical and fitness and show you my book, and then I'm going to send you on your way. You're doing great. Third grade is going to be wonderful. I'm so excited for all the things we're going to learn together and do together. And I can't wait till we're actually in person and we get to see each other and have some of these experiences together. Um, so physical, physical and fitness. This light behind me is pretty, or in front of me is pretty bright actually. So here's what the example of my list looks like. I'm using a new recording, a, a video method that's new to me too, so it's a little bit awkward. But we'll figure it out. It's a little bit messy. Um, so good luck with your beginning sound scavenger hunt, your first sound frenzy, if you will, uh, and have fun with it. And, and uh, hope you have a great time.